What's good, Dark Skin Bad Squad? It's your girl, Dark Skin Bad, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm doing a hair and a makeup tutorial for you guys. So, if you guys want to see this video, continue to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on your post notifications so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, comment down below how you guys like my new intro. So, let's get into this video. So, in today's video, I am using the Love Me Hair hair band wig so we can get ready to um, do this unboxing so we can see what she's looking like so let's get into this video let's go so when you first open the box okay open it. <laughs> it says enjoy your hair journey from now on from Helen from the founder of love me hair This is the hair itself. We're gonna get into this in a minute. It comes with a wig cap. It comes with two. It comes in with this little pack that holds your utensils that they give you. It comes with an edge brush which is much needed. I believe this is like a elastic. It come with bobby pins. Ooh, look at this clip. It says love me. Oh, here goes a silk scarf for your edges. And it come with tweezers. It come with these headbands right here. I'm gonna show you guys one by one. Ooh, look at this one. Oh my God, they gave me a brown one. I love that color brown. I already have one of these kind. When it came with my other headband wig that I had off Amazon. And an army fatigue one and a pink one. Emma said she like pink because they sent me a pink one. So those are the headbands. Let's get into the whole headband with in general. So this is the exactly unit by itself. And I got the 14 inch. It can go from curly to straight. I ain't want no long hair, so I just got it short. But we finna get ready to install her in. So this is how she look, and she's full. Yeah, she's full, full. Y'all see it. So. It has, oh, I forgot to mention, it has a Velcro on it. And it also comes with combs in the inside. One, two, three, and four. So, I'm going to try to go for like a... Mm, we're just going to put on... I already braided my hair down. First, I'm going to go in with the wig caps that they provided. It's crazy because I have some black stocking caps. I could have put in this one. It's kind of too tight. Oh my God, it's on my head. I'm just going to use my black one instead. This is much better. So 
So now we're finna get ready to put the, the unit on. That's what we put. This is how she looks so far. Yeah, I got to So you can either wear it without a headband or you can put a headband on. I'm going to put this one on because I feel like doing like a natural look. So, we're just going to pop her on to cover the Velcro. This is what the hair is looking like. She is so soft. You can strain it. You can curl it. And this is the 14 inch. The 14 inch is pretty long as well for me because I guess because I'm short. So this is what she looks like on me. So yeah. So I'm thinking about just doing a natural beat. So it's time to start with the makeup. I played around with the hair off camera. Comment down below if you feeling this or should I diss it? Look. I like it. I ain't gonna care. I will, I'm gonna leave it like this for right now. But I am gonna do another video of me styling her just to see how she reacts to heat. And see is it worth the hype like everyone says. But yeah, I'm going to do a natural beat. So, first I'm going to take some of my In Screen Hold Brow Gel. I use this on my brows so I can get them to slick down the way I want it. So, I'm just going to use a little bit. It also holds the shape in my brows. Oh, and another thing about this hair, you can put it half up, half down. It depends on how you want to wear your hair that day. <coughs> so I'm going in with my spoolie. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to just brush my eyebrows lightly. Because I just put that bold hold in. And I'm just going to brush it into the shape I want. So after I do that, I will go in with my smallest brush that I have and I will fill in my eyebrows with it. So I'm just gonna fill in. I draw an imaginary line at the top. You can do your brows either thick or thin. Sometimes they come out thick, sometimes they come out thin. So we're just gonna do my eyebrows. You see the difference when I put the bold hold on it? It helps it stay in place. It helps you with a guideline. What well, it helps me? I'm gonna do the, the other one off camera, but you guys get the gist on how I did it. So I'm gonna do the other one off of camera. Then I come back to you guys. So now I'm going to go back in with that same spoolie and I'm going to just brush them up together again. This is how I do my eyebrows. I just brush them together again to make sure I 
put it in correctly. So this is how they look. Okay, I'm seeing a look come together. Okay, okay. So I'm going with my flawless finish foundation in my concealer. I'm gonna mix a little bit of that together to clean my brows up a little bit. This is what I use. I don't know if I was, I mean, if I'm using this the correct way, but it's this is what best for me. But if you're a real makeup artist and you know the steps, can you please like DM me so I can like learn? I'm trying to go to school for cosmetology, so I will be applying for school. So I take a little bit. I don't use that much because I don't like it takes a lot to blend it in. You see. Like that. So, I'm gonna go in with my face primer. It's Elf face primer. I'm gonna hit my face with it. Then I'm gonna just go in with my foundation. You really don't need that much. Well, I don't need that much. And I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Then I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer as well. I go in my with my bigger brush that I just pack it in as well. Because sometimes the beauty blender don't get all the spots. So now I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder and I'm just gonna press some of that in on my face. I need another one because this one is almost gone. I use my pressed powder to seal in my concealer and foundation. It's just like a setting spray, like a setting powder for me. I use it as a setting powder. But you're just gonna pop that on your face. I'm doing a natural beat, but I'm going to put on some big eyelashes. And that is just what it's gonna be. I'm gonna go in with my next primer. And I'm just gonna put this on my eyelid so my eyeshadow can better 
and he's lay. And let me also use a small brush from out my makeup set. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit. I'm gonna pop it on there and let it cool for like, not cool, I say cool. I'm gonna let it dry. So I'm going to use some Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's an eyeshadow palette. It's a small mini eyeshadow palette with a with a mirror on it. But I'm going to use this because I like the color brown they have in here. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to pop some of that brown on because I don't don't want that much color. I'm just going to pop some of that brown on. I want like a brown. I'm going for a brownish color today. Yep. Just like that. You can even tell that I have some on clean. Just like that, because I don't want too much. Period. So, I had a little glitter on there. I don't know, but I feel like she needed a little something other than that brown. So, I just took the same brush and added a little glitter on there. You guys already know I'm going to take some pictures for you guys and insert it in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe. Subscribe. So for these looks, and I'm thinking about doing some new lipstick. Comment down below what color lipstick you think I should do, even though I am doing just like a brownish so I'm going to do like a brown, a new brown. Let me see what I got and I'm going to come back to you guys. So I'm going to go in with my lip contour and I'm going to use this brown perfect tone cream matte lipstick. So this is how it looks. So I'm just going to pop this at the top of my lip. like that I know it doesn't look right right now so I'm going to take my lipstick Lastly, but not least, I'm going to put on my lashes. And on the other side of this contour pencil, it has a little highlight. I'm just going to take a little bit and wipe that on my nose, and my chin, and my cheeks. I'm gonna take that beauty blender. Oh, I forgot I'm gonna have a little brush. Y'all see that? The little highlight.
comment down below what you guys think about this hairstyle, this headband wig, and the makeup. Now I'm going to go in with my Kiss Scrap Lash Adhesive. And I've ordered these eyelashes off Amazon. And look, we, look what I did with them. I put them on my notebook so I won't lose them. So this is the notebook that I put everything in. So, it's like, you gotta place your lashes somewhere. Cause I do not want to lose these. These were one of my favorite pairs so far like, that I bought off Amazon. Hopefully they don't be mean to me today and they just go on. Cause sometimes I have a hard time trying to put them on. See, she already started. wrong with her a little bit off camera then I'm gonna show you the final result I'm gonna show you guys the final result so if you message me on Instagram or snapchat I will re reply just you have to give me some time because I don't really be looking at my DM but make sure you guys head over there to my Instagram and um, follow me on my Instagram at the official dark skin baddie and follow me on snapchat at pre pretty ass juju and yeah so